some techniques that I use to reduce muscle tension um, and to help maintain mobility in my hips. So what I love to do uh, before or even after a workout, or even just in front of the TV sometimes if I'm feeling particularly tight, is I'll roll out my hips using the foam roller. So you can use any type of foam roller. Some of them are a little bit harder than others. And we're going to roll the fronts, sides, and backs of our hips. And then we're going to perform three specific stretches. So I like rolling before I stretch because it helps to get some blood flow to the working muscles and get a little bit more release in the fascia, which is that sort of connective tissue that goes around all of your muscles. So the important thing is to get in there with the rolling. It can be a little bit painful to start, so you'll need to take it slow. And you're going to roll each area between 10 and 15 times before you move on, okay? So the first area we're going to start with rolling are your hip flexors, right down in the front of your hip. So the best way to do this is put the roller on its side, and you're going to get right down onto your stomach. So we're going to roll the front of our leg here. I'm going to put the roller underneath my hip, get some weight on my hands and my leg, and I'm going to roll back and forth. So we'll go 10 to 15 times here, and then I'm going to bend my leg like that and continue rolling. This one usually gets a little bit tighter into your hip flexor. All right, so that takes care of the front of our hip, right? You can go a little slower if you need to. Next, we're going to roll our IT band. So right down the side of our leg. So on this one, you'll want to sit the side of your leg on top of the roller, cross your foot over top, so your hands and your foot have most of the weight of your body. And then we're going to roll into your IT band towards the top of your hip and then down just below the top of your knee. So remember, 10 to 15 times on the side here. This can be a painful one for most people. And then we're going to move to the back part of our hip and roll out our glute. So on this one, you want to sit right onto the roller. The leg that you're rolling out, that hip, is going to go straight, all right? So you're going to roll into that hip 10 to 15 times, remembering that we always want to roll over the muscly part, right? So not over the bony part. 10 to 15 times, this is a small position. And you can move around for what feels nice. And then you'll get rid of the roller. And the first stretch I want you to do is a hamstring stretch. So you'll take your legs out in front of you, sit up nice and tall, and then hinge forward until you feel a stretch right down the back of your legs. So you can hold this stretch for 20 seconds. And then you'll move on to your glute stretch. So we'll move right to your back. Cross your foot over your opposite knee and bring the legs a little closer. You can hold this stretch for 20 seconds as well and make sure you switch to the other leg. And then the final stretch we'll do is for your hip flexor, the front of your hip. So you're gonna lunge into this stretch. Foot goes in front, we'll do a little pelvic tilt and then we'll lean forward and get a nice pull right on the front of your hip of the leg that's behind you. You'll wanna reach the arm up and maybe lean back to intensify this stretch. So I hope you use these three stretches and rolling techniques to help loosen up your hips after those hard workouts.